What is going on, beautiful people? Welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. I'm your favorite self-aware narcissist, Mr. Lee Hammett, better known as Mental Illness across all social media platforms. This is your first time seeing my face or hearing my lovely voice. <laughs> I'm a diagnosed narcissist and I use my platform on social media to raise awareness for NPD, get more people into therapy, and also validate the victims, survivors, and thrivers of said disorder, said toxic people, said toxic traits, y'all. We know everybody's not a narcissist. We get it. We get it. You get it. If you get it, I get it. Today's episode is going to be about defending yourself against a smear campaign from a narcissist or a toxic person. How sometimes less is more when you're defending yourself and whatnot, y'all. Defending yourself. The, the, yeah. So if you're new here, if you're new to the world of narcissistic, toxic abuse, narcissistic, you know, any the discard phase, any type, anything to do with narcissism, personality disorder, traits, signs, symptoms, personality, any personality disorders in, in general. The smear campaign happens when a person literally takes, tries to take your reputation and smear it in manure, pretty much. Take lies and uh, lies to people about, you know, it's, the smear campaign is composed of falsities, half-truths, which are still lies, whole lies, lies by omission, just made up stuff, rumors, whatever, conjecture, whatever it is to drag you through the mud. Typically, the smear campaign, it seems like typically the smear campaign would start after the relationship ends or whatever. And it doesn't have to be an intimate partnership. This can be your friend. This can be your brother or sister. This can be your, your own damn mama. Look at Black China, what her mom is doing to her right now. You know, Black China's mom is doing to her right now in this instance and whatnot. She's like, she's, you know, Black China, the, uh, I don't know what she is, uh, social media person. <laughs> um, and whatnot. So your parent can be your your parent can be your first narcissist. Do you know what I mean? Um, and it's crazy how that works sometimes. But like you, the smear campaign is just meant to destroy you. It's meant to make you. It's meant, it's meant to make you look like a bad person. It's meant to make you to you know bring up doubts in your in your reputation. It's meant to, it's meant to damage your reputation and what's not. It, what what's not. What not. You see what I'm saying? That's how it goes in these situations, right? It's meant to damage your reputation in a way that, you know, hurts you and whatnot. To ruin your credibility a little bit here. And like I said, it can actually start while you're still dealing with the person. A smear campaign can start while you're still in a relationship with them, while you're still friends with them, while you're still in their house as a, you know, as a mother, son, mother, daughter, uh, father, son, father, mother, whatever. Anyway, dynamic. This could be your partner. But... Or it's gonna be your employee or your employer. The smear campaign. But defending yourself against the y'all. Typically, people are like, how do I stop this smear campaign, y'all? A lot of times, like the, if the smear campaign is a raging fire, how do you put out a fire? You know what I mean? What's the easiest way to put out a fire? I know people are gonna say douse it in water, like fight fire with water or fight fire with fire and a bigger fire or put out a little fire or whatever. If you're fighting fire, if you're fighting a smear campaign, you know, if you're fighting back against it, everything gets burned down. So kind of like fire, fighting fire with fire. You create a bigger fire. Fighting it with water, still fighting it. A lot of times, y'all, the best way to stifle out a fire is to suffocate it of air. Don't feed it. You know what I mean? Don't feed it. A smear campaign is typically targeted towards you to drag you out into the streets where y'all are just fighting in the streets. You know what I mean? A, a good old-fashioned street fight. Oh, to, oh, <laughs> oh man. Oh, man. <laughs> on Facebook, a street fight on Facebook, a, a, a cyber, a social, media, a social media knockout drag out, a social media, you know, two, a social media fist fight. It's stupid. But the smear campaign is that's what it does. Like typically, don't engage with it, y'all. When you because when you defend yourself, people think this is the this is how a lot of people's minds work that are not narcissists, y'all. This is how, some of them are narcissists, but like this is the thing. This is how a lot of people's minds work. If you are defending yourself, it's my, it seems like hit dogs holler. A guilty, a guilty pig will squeal. You see what I'm saying? Hit dogs holler. So if you're defending yourself, you look like a hit dog. It looks like you're, they're telling the truth. It looks like they're telling the truth about you. And sometimes, yeah, it depends on how it looks, but it doesn't care. Like the narcissistic person that's smearing you does not care. If you defend, like they don't care. They want people to just guess. They want people to not know what's really going on. They want people is to get people to question you. 
You see what I'm saying? If I sit out here like, look, y'all, my wife cheated on me. She a whore. She cheated on me. She did all this stuff today. And yeah, y'all, this is why I moved on so quickly. And this is why I moved on and moved in. I'm engaged to somebody a week after I broke up because I was getting cheated on. What do y'all expect me to do? I found out last week I was getting cheated on. So I got engaged to somebody. Blah, blah, blah. Boo, 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 boo. Y'all, y'all, you know, you know what I'm saying. You're right. They'll tell you all this mess to get you to fit. They just want to get you to drag out in the mud. They want you to come out and reveal. They want you to come out and fight against it. Because, you know, if somebody were to see two people argue, two people arguing and screaming at each other in the street, everybody doesn't know who, who is wrong. When you argue with a fool, nobody knows who the fool is. Nobody knows who the, who the smart person is. You see what I'm saying? Don't get into these knockout, knockout drag outs. Sometimes defending yourself requires silence. You know what I mean? I got people, literally, y'all. I get people making videos about me literally all the all the time. I had this one this one dude on um, TikTok a couple years ago. This dude, yeah, and I'm not I, and I am not exaggerating right? when I say this. I had this one dude on TikTok. They made over a thousand TikToks about me, just lying, making stuff up, just wanting to get into it, wanting me to just come out of the darkness and and social media fight him. He was threatening me. If I saw Lee Hemick in real life, I would show him in real life. This is that. Because he said his dad was a narcissist. Yeah, I made one video in the beginning, and I just like, this dude just wants attention. So I just stifled it out, and now he doesn't make videos about me no more. This is a year later. It took, like He doesn't make videos about me no more because people see it. People are like, you are obsessive now. Like That dude ain't talked about you in a long time. Like, he made one video, and you've made 1,000, 1,200 videos about him. You look obsessive. So let's. I stifled out the smear campaign. By just live it, let it like look. If y'all believe, this is how I look at it, y'all. If people believe stuff about you without coming to you and asking you about it, they are not your friend. Sometimes this smear campaign could be like a filter, like a sifter. You know, like you, like you, like you, like a gold miner. Like you know how gold miners. Oh goodness gracious, I got one right here. Look, you, this is exact, this is exactly how they, you, y'all y'all not on a podcast. If you're on a, if you're on a YouTube channel. You had a gold mine, um, how gold people, they use these filters to sift through. Like only the good stuff can get through this filter right here. So sometimes the smear campaign can just be a filter. You put the filter in here like this and only the good stuff gets into the bottle. The other stuff gets weeded out. The other stuff gets filtered out of it. You know what I mean? If you're on a podcast, listen to this. I have a filter bottle right here. You know, it's just like like this, sifting for gold. The gold chunks are gonna get the gold chunks are gonna get stuck at the top. We we're, we're sifting out right here, y'all. We're filtering out the toxicity. This sometimes the smear campaign can be used as a, a life filter to help you live a better existence, y'all. To get to get toxic people out of your life. Hey, look, I I heard this rumor about you, Lee, and I believe everything about it. Oh, cool. Fine. If you believe every, if you believe that, then you really don't know me anyway. If you believe that type of stuff without coming to me, we don't need to be friends anyway. You don't need to be part of my life anyway. Like I said, I have people. I, uh, yeah, I'm going through. I'd be. I'm anticipating a smear campaign right now for one of my old friends, like one of my old toxic narcissistic friends. I am waiting on a smear campaign from this person. You see what I'm saying? He didn't drug my, tried to drag my name through the mud. Been lying on my name to people. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, right? been lying on my name all kinds of stuff but i've just chilled right you know i've just chilled and i'm just waiting and like because if people just believe him and don't talk to me anymore you can have him as a friend you deserve that toxic person in your life i'm filtering people in and out of my life i'm not going to defend myself because i don't need to my reputation is to speak for itself if it doesn't speak loud enough to you turn up the volume if my reputation does not speak it loud enough for me, turn up the volume. If you believe BS about me, turn up the volume on my reputation because my reputation is my reputation is good because I treat people good. You see what I'm saying? But that's the mindset, y'all. Sometimes you stifle it out by not responding to it. Don't engage. I know it's easier said than done, y'all. I know, y'all. I know it's easier said than done. You hear me saying this to you right now. I understand that it's easier said than done to defend yourself when somebody is try- somebody is literally trying to drag your name through the mud. You want to you want to defend yourself, but that's what they want, y'all. They want to drag you out here to battle with them. Don't battle. I'm just dying. I know it's easier said than done. Unless it's ruining, unless it's set, unless it's about to get you fired from your job or it's about to ruin your life some way, shape, or form. Then you might want to defend yourself. But that's why you need to you need to have documentation and proof to defend yourself. Literally. Literally, this is, I'm gonna tell you this quick story, y'all. This one, like I said, I don't know if y'all heard this story before, but this happened in real life. Like this dude on my on my wife's Facebook, right? On my wife's Facebook, she knew him and his girlfriend. 
this dude, then they had broken up or they had got divorced or whatever. And she was not letting him see his, she, the woman was not letting him see his, her daughter, or their daughter, right? He goes on Facebook saying she's abusive, she's toxic, she's this, she's that. She's keeping my daughter from me. Y'all pray for me. Men are victims too. I can't believe this abuse. You got people in the comment section just agreeing with her. I knew she was like this. I knew. I told you to leave her alone. I told you not to mess with her. People just eating it up. And like this woman, she was still friends with her. They were not blocked. She could see every comment, right? She, she would see, she could see every comment. She did not defend herself. A couple weeks later, guess what happens? He gets arrested on child corn. Replace that C with a P. Child corn. And she comes in the comment section. She's like, see y'all, y'all just put, posting this mug shot. This is why I kept my daughter for him. Thank y'all for outing yourselves on people who believe without coming to me and asking me anything. Literally, she just posted his mugshot in the comment section of the video, the, 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 the pictures and stuff that people were talking junk about. And it was insane. And people were just like, oh, well, this is your fault. You should have told us. They try to blame her. <laughs> like, you should have told us about this. What? You should have told us about this for what? How? You see what I'm saying? That's the mindset of how it works though, y'all, when you deal with narcissistic people. I mean, don't let them drag you in the mud for their smear campaign, y'all. Just don't try it. It's easier said than done, of course. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, y'all, I gotta hop off here. If you listen to this on Apple Music or Spotify, um, hit me with that five star rating on there if you can, or any other podcast if you listen to it. If you listen to this on YouTube, watching this on YouTube, you gotta interact with the video. Thumbs up. Turn on notifications. And also, get the self love journal on Amazon, y'all. Helps you re regain that self love during, after, before a toxic relationship, or if you just help you, you know, just any in general. Like and subscribe for more. Mental illness is out. Peace.